guys, it's Miley. And today I thought I would show you how to make a petticoat with an elastic waist for your dolls. You don't need a pattern for this, so it makes it a really good project for beginners or really just anyone that wants to make a petticoat. You can also use the same technique to make a gathered skirt. I just wanted to focus on the petticoat because I know that sewing with tulle can be a little bit difficult. So anyways, let, let's go sew. So to start off, you guys are gonna need some tulle a lightweight cotton fabric and lace trim that's about half of an inch wide. You're also going to need some elastic for the waistband. Now we're going to cut out a piece of tool that is 30 inches wide by two inches high. I'm using the measurements on my cutting mat to help guide me and a small rotary cutter to actually cut out the fabric. Next, cut out a piece of cotton that is about eight inches wide by one and nine sixteenths inches high. Don't forget to use fray check on the cotton piece that you just cut out just to stop it from shredding later. Also, be sure to let the fray check dry before you move on to the next step. Now you should have a piece of cotton that's eight by one and nine sixteenths of an inch, a piece of tulle that's 30 by two inches, and a piece of lace trim that you've cut down to about 32 inches or so. Before we start sewing, fold the cotton fabric down about 3 eighths of an inch and then iron it flat. Again, this isn't something that has to be super exact, you just need to make sure there's going to be enough space to thread your elastic through. Now I'm going to attach the lace trim to the tool with my sewing machine. I use a Bernina 930 which handles different materials like tool really well and I never have a problem with anything getting stuck in the machine. However, if you are having a problem sewing tool directly on the bed of your machine, just place a piece of tissue paper between the fabric and the bed of the machine. It will help stabilize your project and it's super easy to tear away when you're finished. Plus you can get a pack of tissue paper for like a dollar at the dollar store which is a lot cheaper than interfacing. Also, as you can see, I'm not using any pins or clips to do this. I'm just slowly lining up the lace, then sewing an inch or so, and then checking to make sure my project is still lined up. If this isn't something that you're comfortable with, you can always use sewing clips to keep the lace in place. I don't really like to use pins when I'm working with tool because they have a tendency to just slide out of your project and onto the carpet where you will step on them. After you get your lace attached, change your stitch length to about four millimeters so that you can sew your gathering stitch. Then sew your gathering stitch a little less than three eighths of an inch from the edge of the tool. Normally you wanna do two rows of gathering stitches, but I've honestly always just done one with my petticoats and it's always turned out fine. Once that's finished, you're going to want to pull the thread to gather the tool until it's about the same width as the piece of cotton. Then you can start attaching the tool to the cotton with your sewing clips. Make sure that the front sides are facing and that you keep the gathers relatively even. Next, we're going to attach the two pieces together. I recommend using a pair of tweezers to help you with this part. Anyway, you're going to sew just under the gathering stitch, so a tiny bit over 3 8 of an inch from the edge. This part can be a little tricky because of all of the tool, but just go slowly and use your tweezers to help you keep the tool in place. Once that's all finished, go ahead and iron your seams. Be really careful not to let the hot iron touch the tool as it can melt a hole in it pretty quickly. I normally use a regular size iron, but since I'm kind of clumsy, I really like to use this miniature one on things like this where I have to be a little more delicate. Now, go back to your sewing machine and top stitch the front side of the petticoat right next to the seam. I'm actually sewing about 1 16th of an inch from the edge, but you can literally top stitch wherever you feel comfortable with. Now that the tool is attached, you're going to need to sew down the elastic hole. I actually normally do this before I even attach the tool, but I forgot because I was so focused on filming. I sewed this about 1 8 of an inch from the bottom edge of the fabric, but if you're more comfortable sewing with a larger seam allowance, you can always cut the top piece a little bit larger. Now, thread the elastic through the waistband. 
I'm using a tool that I got at Tokyo Hands in Japan, but you can use a safety pin, a paper clip, a needle, or even some wire, really just whatever works for you. After you pull the elastic through, gather up the top of the waistband, tie a double or triple knot, and then snip off the ends of the elastic. Before you sew your side seams together, just give it a quick test to make sure that the petticoat is going to fit your doll. Now just line everything up and sew your sides together. I'm sewing this about 3 8 of an inch from the edge. And that's it! Hooray! Now you should have a really pretty little petticoat for your doll. You can also totally use this technique to make tons of different skirts. You just have to change up the measurements a little bit. And that's it. If you guys have any questions or anything at all, you can totally leave them in the comments below or send me a DM on Instagram and I will try to help you out. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.